Hi everybody, today I wanted to talk to you about gold coins um, because someone mentioned it on the Color Wisdom Card Ning group so I thought I would bring it up to you and talk about it in terms of what it means and perhaps share the meditation with you from the book. Um, gold coins actually is the story of these two people that are in the fable and one is wise with money, the little girl, and the, the older man was foolhardy with it. And so it really depicts how we behave with money and where it, you know, how we we are with it. So with that, um, the key word, by the way, for, for the gold coins is abundance. And the quote is, I only seek to give you what you asked for. So here's the meditation. Place some money in front of you. Have you ever thought about how many souls have touched this currency before it came to you. Feel the energy it emits from the other people having touched it. Can you run your hand over it and get a sense of energy coming from that money? Because there's a very powerful energy that comes off money and if you can make yourself sensitive to it, you can connect with it and have more of it come back to you. The value we derive from money is not in the paper itself. It's the exchange of energy. Ask now for that which you desire and for the things that you think this money will give you. The value that was placed upon gold centuries ago was based on its beauty and believed substance. Things have value. Things that have value only have it because we decide they do. As you go into a meditation, just breathe and sink deeply into yourself. Imagine this money taking on different forms, first as gold, then as diamonds, then as currency as we know it today. See it transforming into whatever you want it to become. As the money transforms, ask yourself this question. If there were no money, what would I be doing? Who would I be? Where would I be? How would I spend my time? When you're ready, bring yourself forward again. Before you just get up and kind of say, oh, that was nice, I'd like you to take a moment and write down two actions that you can take immediately to start yourself on the way to doing that which you desire. Whatever they are, they can be very small. It can be, you know, if you decide that you want to write a book, it can be just get a pad of paper and a pencil and put it out, right? So be aware, though, as you do this, of your new relationship with money, of how it can circle around into things and come back, that it's all energy. It's not the money. It's the energy expended and coming back, and it's the relationship we form with it. Be aware in this of your personal riches and the value that you have inside. I'm also going to give you one exercise that's actually in the book, part of this, uh, the card, in terms of connecting with yourself. Um, what I like to do a lot is when I've done this, um, this exercise, is I kind of pick a magic word. And it can be anything like um, house, for example. And for the week, whenever I hear that word, house, I know that the money that's the energy that's gone out into the world is bringing money back to me. And it's a very powerful intention of like someone says, oh, I'm going to go to my house. You know, or you want to come over to my house? And it starts to, so pick a word that's common, but not the, you know, pick a word that, you know, that you'll, you know, you may hear over the course of a week and notice how your heightened awareness of that can tap into that energy of money and help it flow back to you. What we're doing basically is working on how powerful your intention is. I'll see you next time.